I do kind of like that we live in a country. We you get both sides? Well, I think it's just healthy to live in a, in a country where at some point, no matter what the government says, yeah. it could be the most logical thing of all. It could be like all yeah. cars are required to have brakes. Yeah. There's going to be... <laughs> There's going to be some portion of the country that goes, fuck you. Yeah, 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 <laughs> and I think yeah. that's just awesome. Yeah. I think it keeps things in check. I really Absolutely, do. Absolutely, yeah. And it's like just having that healthy side of the country or mentally unstable side of the country, yeah. no matter what the fuck is going on, like yeah. they're going to fight it. That keeps people from running completely out of control. Absolutely. And it also leads to 300,000 people dying. For but, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's sort it's, of what you know, makes us us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's you know, yeah. it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Hundred percent. You know, it's yeah. just like, well, it's the same reason why I stopped watching SNL because you just hit a certain point where you're like, okay, you know, I get it, I get it. You love Biden. Yeah. I get it. This guy is evil. You know what I mean? But like, can we just do jokes? Can you guys just be funny? For like an hour. I'm tired of you know? the fucking just cliche shit too, because it's it's like Colbert is unwatchable. No, I Un mean unwatchable. He, he honestly he has ruined his career. It's over. Yeah, he, he's not gonna be able to go back to being funny after this. It's over. He can't be funny. No, you can't cry on TV every week, dude. It's it's horrible. But yeah. it's like the right wing guys aren't fucking funny either. Like like yeah. Crowder's not funny. No, and the the guy Greg Gutfield or whatever on Fox no. News that pretends to be a comic. Also not funny. And so the left and the right are both not funny at all. And then the people who were willing to make fun of both sides were the only ones that were funny. Yeah, but yeah. now, like, even like, oh, I, I see the problems with both sides. Even that has become a fucking cliche. Right. And it's kind of running out, you know? I think, yeah, yeah. I think we're all just tired of talking about the coronavirus yeah. and fucking protesting on both sides. And it's just like, I, I think we all just got to learn to make jokes about other shit. Yeah. And that side of our brain has just rotten and fallen out because we haven't we haven't used it at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't thought about anything but coronavirus numbers and Bitcoin for nine yeah, months, and yeah. it's not healthy. No, 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 it's not good. People are losing their shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. And like that's that where comedy is going is that exactly, you know what you like laid out there where it's it's people on both sides that are not funny and they're losing. Yeah, right. And eventually they're gonna fall off. They're not gonna be able to hold on to their careers. So what it's gonna become and it's gonna go back to is just goofy, silly, inane comedy. Yeah. You're going to see like a huge resurgence of stuff like, you know, like Seinfeld and uh, like um, like Steve Martin when he had the fucking bow through his head. Just like silly shit. We're going, silly shit. We're going back to goofy. Dude, I watched Mike you know? and Sam need wedding dates. Hilarious. Oh, yeah. I ha I've never seen that movie. And I yeah. was just like, oh, this is so ref just comedy just for like. Yes, for the like, sake of like comedy. Like dick dick jokes and horse jokes yeah, and ecstasy yeah. jokes yeah, yeah. it's fucking great yeah, yeah yeah like i miss that shit yeah. i miss just fuckery and everything's got to be so serious like oh it's got to be we got to i mean yeah we, like, we yeah i love Chappelle, but it's like half the shit is a fucking ted talk and yeah. you're just like Ugh, like i can't i can't i fucking like like my favorite comic right now might be tom segura yeah just because He'll walk out and t tell a joke about getting his dick sucked in a glory hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then talk about ball hogs yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. just the most inane shit, yeah, foreign yeah. accent syndrome. And it's fucking hilarious. And I'm just tired of hearing the same points made by different people. And there uh, are people. I'm burnt out, dude. I fucking can't. There are people that can do it. Like Tim Dillon is a guy who can talk politics. Unreal. And it's amazing, right? He'll give you depression, though. Be careful. Absolutely. Be a really careful. Absolutely. Tim but he's kind of like a reincarnation of like Bill Hicks and that level. Yeah. He's, he's at that level. If you're not at that level, shut up. Totally. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I have, you know, I you probably haven't seen the show, but that's why I'll have like guys on here. And we just do jokes back and forth. We don't really talk about anything that's in the news. Yeah. Because it's just like, what, what am I going to give you? At what point do you need to hear my point of view? I mean, I'm a fucking moron. I just told you I was in special needs classes in high school. Yeah. And I have the energy of a football coach. You know what I mean? It's like there's no reason for you to listen to me about anything except for like what my dick smells like. Yeah. You know what I mean? 100%. Like it's just it doesn't matter. So yeah, the the whole trying to be a voice of authority thing, where it's just like yeah. you're not the guy. Yeah, you're not that guy. Yeah, we don't we don't need your take on this issue. Uh, yeah, you're not a fucking political commentator. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, yeah, just I'm exhausted. Dude. No, yeah. I mean, and it was it was like this before this even went down. Like the last I I got into comedy during the Trump administration, and it was just like that got played out in months. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and people kept going with it. So I think. There's going to be some motherfuckers where we're hearing COVID jokes in 2024. We're just like, I fucking can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do it. Well, if I hear another comic go up and be like, so, you know, it, it, what's the whole thing? When you sit down and you're eating, all of a sudden Corona isn't real. It doesn't. And, and yeah. like, that's a, that's a bit. 
that I've heard probably 10 times in the last two months. And I'm like, hey, it's, you know, if you're all doing it, just like you, you got to know that that's hack, right? You got like, to know it's hack. But I get it. You get an easy laugh in the beginning. You're trying to be topical. But it's just just stop. Like, let go. The it lack of awareness with fucking comics is un- yeah. unbelievable sometimes, yeah, though. Yeah, because, yeah. dude, it's 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 like I've just being a club feature and club host. Like, I've, started, yeah. I've heard the same bits from headliners throughout the oh, country. Yeah. Where it's like, dude, fucking write some material. Jesus yeah, yeah, yeah. Christ. Like, the first thing that you think of is not the thing that you should go after half the time, right, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 